Good afternoon, YouTube family. It's Andrea, got Emily back there. We are about to head back in the field and move some cows. We are going to attempt to move them further than they've ever gone before. They have rotated and rotationally grazed in our, it's about 120 acres behind our house. And then there's another 80 acres on back that we cut hay on but we did not cut the third cutting of hay. So we're going to attempt to move them through the woods back to that and let them graze there this fall for a late grazing. It's going to save us from putting out hay so early and it's going to give them uh, more grazing, more land. And then um, grass is still growing just a little bit here. It'll let this land up here recover some and then they might actually can graze it when they come back up. So we're really excited. This has been our dream is to move them all the way throughout all our land. So this is a big step in the right direction. But the question is, are they going to go through the woods without going everywhere? So let's go try this, see how it goes. So you can see the cows are back there. They're waiting to come through. We've got a wire between them and us and we are going down through here. Back behind Emily, you can see uh, there's woods with a little path and we are gonna put a wire up that's not gonna be hot just to deter them from taking off into those woods. That is a huge thicket that is underbrush and it's an area we've always left just growed up for uh, wildlife habitats, for wild animals like um, deer and turkey and all kinds of stuff like to go in there and we've just always left it alone. But it would be a nightmare to lose the cows in there. So we're gonna rope that off and try to run them up through here. There's actually an old fence on this side. We're gonna use that to our advantage and then take them into the back where the hay fields are. But first, untangling the wire. You ready? I don't know, maybe. So we're just stringing this hot wire, just kind of trying to fake them out. It's not actually even going to be on. So last week me and Lane come down here and we put all these uh, step-in ringtail posts in. We put T-posts on all the corners. We forgot one insulator, that's what I'm doing today. We've got it going all the way around. This is a half mile of wire and we used every bit of the wire on this reel. Need just a little more. We've got that in the mule. We're gonna go fix that in a second. But first we're gonna get the rest of this tightened up, get some tension pulled on it. I gotta get this insulator on. Just a little uh, little opinion or advice, whatever you want to call it. That needs to be about waist high there. If you ever do this, of course, you want to put your insulator on the back side of where it would be pulling. That way it's not over here pulling on the insulator the whole time. It's pushing in on it and all that it's doing is insulating it from the post. So the post is what's really holding the wire. And now it's pouring. Actually, it's not pouring, but it's, it is raining and it's freezing for Arkansas. Isn't it, Emily? Yes, I just got in from walking out there and it's so cold. So cold. But we are gonna finish this job no matter what. 
These cows need grass and they are gonna love it. So we're all out in the rain now. Um, the wire is sagging part of the way around. It's just such a long run of wire that we're using that it's sagging down. So Ben is a handyman. He can fix anything. These are some little tools that you can get for tightening wire. I'm just gonna use this by hand. You could also put like a 3 h drive ratchet in there and tighten it up. But on this poly wire, I'm just gonna do it by hand. So this is how it goes. We'll put this like that, like that. I can feel it pulling. Put that thing right there and there. Going through. Yep. And then that's going to hold it. That's a lot better. Yeah, that's holding a lot of tension on it. So you can see up and down this line, it's just a long line of wire, and so um, it's just wanting to sag a little bit. Yep. We usually also try to put posts wherever we put tensioners just to hold up some of the weight of the tensioner. The wit. Tell them. Gallagher S200. <laughs> yeah, this is the Gallagher S200 solar charger <laughs> fence charger. And it's going to charge the fence. Roughly three quarters <laughs> of a mile of this poly wire. It's actually made, I think, for 200 miles. Indicated by the 200. <laughs> Let's go get the cows. Did you just get shocked? No, I just mashed my finger and it's cold. What are we doing what? Where I'm pulling this down there so the cows don't go that way. Then we're going up there to go get the cows. So you want me to wait on you? No, I'll get on with him. I'm so hungry. You want to sing a song about it, Dan? Sounds like you're singing it. Sing it, girl. Here they come. Oh, there's Josie and my milk cow and Bruce behind her. They're going to call them with the mule and we're going to follow behind make sure everybody comes. It is about to get dark on us. It's raining, but we got them here. They ran like they were shot out of a cannon. We had no trouble with them going through the woods. Emily and I were gonna try and count them, but the grass is entirely too tall, which is a great thing. But we'll come back in a few days and count them. There's no cows still up front, so I feel confident they're all here. I just like to count them when they go to a new paddock. They're happy as can be. They can actually get to a creek on the other side. The boys are going to um, use those tumble wheels you saw and finish it up in some low places. And then the cows are set up for a while back here. We've actually got more paddocks to set up back here, to rotate them around back here before they ever come back to the front. So this is so awesome, y'all. 
rotational grazing is the way to go. I encourage you to do it even on a small property. Move them around. It will just improve your soil so much. You'll have so much more grass and it extends your season. It really does. Rather than just putting them out on a pasture, they eat down what they want and leave the weeds to take over and then your grass just dwindles and dwindles until they've just stripped it and nothing's growing out there. Uh, this is just really made a believer out of us and the Gallagher products and just make it easy. They just make products to make rotational grazing easier. So that's why we tell you about them all the time is because they have made our life so much easier with rotating these cows. I'm hopping off here. I can barely see you through the rain on my glasses. We will see you guys on the next one. We appreciate you. Hit that bell. Uh, we have a video coming out Thursday uh, with soap and lotion and all kinds of good things that we're going to be selling. So it'll be coming out 9 a.m. Central Time on Thursday and it's first come, first serve. All the details will be in that video. So check that out. See you on the next one. We love you all and God bless.